Welcome to this Windows channel and today we're going to show you how to customize the taskbar in your Windows 10 PC. Now the taskbar has many features and many options that you can actually turn on or off but very few people actually play with that and you know what the taskbar being something that's so central and important to any Windows install I think it is a good idea to know how to customize it. Go to your taskbar at the bottom of the desktop and just right click. If you have a touch device, you can touch and hold and you have the menu. Go into properties. So here, pretty much all the options for this taskbar are present. First, you can lock the taskbar. Locking the taskbar means that by accident, you can't move it around. So, for example, if I try to, you know, I click and I try to move it, nothing happens. But look, if I remove this, little check mark and click apply. Now I can click, hold and move it as I want on the desktop. And funny thing, this is one of the probably one of the very common problems people tell me my taskbar is on the top, on the right or left side on the screen. I don't know how to put it back. And it's because it was unlocked. So the by accident while moving the mouse pointer, they clicked it on the taskbar and it moved the taskbar somewhere else on the screen. Next, auto hide the taskbar. This is a feature some people like. I've never did like that option. It's been there for a long time, uh, as long as at least Windows XP and maybe even further. Uh, auto hide the taskbar means that, for example, when you're not using the taskbar, it actually hides itself automatically in the bottom. And you need to go back down to the bottom of the screen with your pointer to actually have it uh, working. Now it doesn't work well here because I'm actually using uh, my screen recorder it seems to prevent it from working but usually what happens is that the taskbar will hide itself when you're not using it. Uh, some people like it because it gives a little more space of view on the desktop. Personally I don't use that option very much. Then you have an option which says use small taskbar buttons. If you click this, you'll see that all the buttons and everything in the taskbar is smaller. If you don't mind and want to have a little more space on your screen, that is one of the options that is useful for that. Now you log the taskbar or not, but you would like to have it somewhere else. The second option that we see here is taskbar location on screen. Bottom, if you click, you have left, right, top, you just choose whatever you want and what happens is when you click the apply button the taskbar will be on your computer where you have chosen it to be. So let's put it back at the bottom that's where I'm used to using it. Taskbar buttons always combine hide labels combine when taskbar is full and never combine. What does that mean? Well when your taskbar is being used, you've noticed that icons are showing up on the taskbar. But when a program or an app has multiple windows, you'll notice that sometimes, or most of the time, when the multiple windows show up, they don't actually show up one next to the, each other. So for example here, if I open two browsers of um, my Edge browser or more tabs or anything, uh, what happens is that, so let's see here, open in a new window. Now I've got two browsers open on my taskbar. Basically what you want here is simply to um, click and you'll see two different browsers or two different windows open. Basically, that could be okay for most people, but sometimes you might not want that to appear like this. You might say, no, I want to have everything spaced out. So what you'll click, is you'll choose in the option, never combine. And what it does when I apply this is that, look at all the things that I have open. Everything is now uh, really spaced out in my taskbar and takes a lot of space. The option you can also choose is combine when taskbar is full, meaning that when the taskbar is full, everything gets combined into icons. So it's going to space out everything 
until you have no more space. Then when you open something else, it's just going to, you know, do a uh, combine of the different options that you use or new, different programs or apps uh, like it was in the beginning because there's no more space to actually display them on your screen. Other options you get, of course, is uh, use Peek to preview the desktop when you move your mouse to the Show Desktop icon at the end of the taskbar. You've noticed at the bottom right, you've got that little line here. It's because when you are actually using your computer, if you go there and leave your mouse button, it shows you your desktop. So if there's something on the desktop you wanted to see, you can actually see it by using this option without having to minimize all the windows. So it's fun and it's a useful feature if you want to just have a little peek at the desktop and go back into your apps. Other options you have at the top is navigation. Here you have replace command prompt with PowerShell. So if you're a power user, need the PowerShell, what happens is that you can replace the command prompt with the PowerShell prompt when you actually want to have uh, those power features. And finally, toolbars. You've got different toolbars available. For example, you can have desktop. That means it adds a little desktop button that you can click on and go to your desktop if you want. You have address. Address means that it's going to add an address bar to your taskbar, meaning that I can click and I can say, okay, www.yahoo.com, and it brings me in my browser to that address. So you don't have to open a browser window to actually go to a website, for example. So that's another feature. Um, of course, the desktop option also shows you all the shortcuts on your desktop that you might want to use. Um, depending on what you have installed, some software install their own little icons. So for example, here, iTunes. iTunes can install itself in the desktop and finally, links can also appear. Links are basically all the different links that you can add there for a quick access. A little bit like favorites in your browser, but they're in the taskbar directly instead of being in the browser. So you don't have to open the browser window to click one of your favorites, for example. So that's pretty much all the options you have that you can customize on your desktop taskbar. And you know what? It's fun to know because there's a lot of customization that can be done here. And people will often like to display these the way they like, the way they want, which is always, you know, your computer is yours. Your computer is something like a car that you own. Why not customize it the way you like it, basically? If you enjoy my videos, want to subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when your videos are online. Give us thumbs up if you like the videos, helps us in the ratings on YouTube. If you have comments, problems, suggestions, why not ask? Maybe you have a problem you can you know, share with us and maybe we can help you. Maybe we'll even make a video and help others at the same time. Thank you so much for following us and I hope you enjoy the videos.